So the first skill then guys is going to be the Rabona turn. So let me show you how we're going to break that down. Now we're going to start with the weakest foot closest to the ball. So your weakest foot step close to the ball. Now we're going to pretend to do a Rabona pass but this time actually going to twist and turn and we're going to push out with our strongest foot. We're going to stop it again and then I'm going to show you one more time. So strongest foot this time is going to go closest towards the ball and the weakest foot is going to pretend to make a Rabona pass but this time we're going to twist and turn and go the other way. So let me show you how we're going to do that a little bit quicker. So going to turn, fake for a turn and then push out, dribble and then fake for a turn and then push out. Okay? So we're going to keep going up and down, both left and right. Okay? Have a little go. Fantastic. Five, four, three, two, one, and then time. Freeze there. So I've had a little practice go now to do it into 10 seconds as fast as you can. Are you ready? So nice and quick for the next 10 seconds. Ready? Steady and go. So pick your bottom, come back out, both left and right. Well done, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze there, well done. So we've done first lot of 10 seconds, now to move on to the next lot of 10. You ready? Nice and quick. Steady and go. So one, one foot, weakest foot, and then goes the strongest foot. Fantastic, make sure. Pick your bottom, fantastic. Five, four, keep going. Three, nice, quick, two. One and time. So the second skill is going to be a little bit like skill one, but this time we're going to add a Ronaldo turn just inside before we do another fake Rabona. So make sure you're watching me. So we're going to Ronaldo spin and then fake Rabona and then push away. So this time instead of just doing the fake Rabona, we're going to add a little Ronaldo to it. So weaker foot, Ronaldo, fake Rabona, turn and then go the other way. So Ronaldo, fake Rabona, turn and go the other way. So soon as you've got that, can we try and put it in? To a skill and try and get a little bit of a room. So Ronaldo, turn, and then Ronaldo, fake the bottom, turn. Fantastic. Four, three, two, one, and time. Brilliant, guys. So I've had a little practice go. Now to move into 10 seconds. Can we try and do it as fast as we can? Ready? So nice and quick. Steady. And go. So Ronaldo, fake the bottom. Good. Keep going, guys. Nice and quick. Brilliant. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. And time, freeze there, brilliant guys. So we've done our first lot of 10, now to move on to the second lot of 10 seconds. Are you ready? Ready, steady, and go. So Ronaldo, turn, Ronaldo, turn, keep going guys. Fantastic. Well done, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Brilliant guys, well done. So for our next skill, we'll be dribbling and doing the Adriano turn all in one. It's gonna just use one foot to start off with. So to start with, we're gonna use our strongest foot. We're gonna go inside, outside, then Adriano, and then inside, outside, Adriano. So make sure you can use the whole of your square just to move the ball around with, okay? So let me show you how we're gonna do that. So inside, outside, inside, and then Adriano. Then go anywhere you want. Make sure we're only using insides and outsides of our feet. As soon as you've got that, can we try and go a little bit quicker? Get into a little bit of a rhythm. So outside, insides only. And Adriano, Susan, that with our strongest foot. Now to move on to our weakest foot. So have a little practice go with weakest foot. So inside, outside, Adriano. Inside, outside, Adriano. So you can use the whole, maybe square. Fantastic. Four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze there, one. Well so done. Little practice go now to move on to 10 seconds as fast as you can with your strongest foot. You ready? So fast as you can, strongest foot. Ready? Steady. And go. So outside, inside, Adriano, outside, inside. Adriano. Good, keep going. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze there. Well done. So, done about strongest foot to start with. Now, to move on 10 seconds as fast as you can with your weakest foot. You ready? Nice and quick. Steady. And go. Inside, outside, weaker foot. Nice and quick. Fantastic. Keep going, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one and time. Brilliant guys, well done. So for our next skill, we're going to put three of our core skills all into one to make this move. So watch me and I'll show you. So we're going to start with Romario and then we're going to move into a V move and then we're going to move into the last skill and Adriano. So it's three different skills. So we're going to move one, two, three. So let me show you how we're going to do that even quicker. So we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. So three skills all put in to one. Soon as you do it, be strongly spot then, you can move on to your weakest foot. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so once you've had a little practice go, have a little bit of a breathe because now we're gonna go 10 seconds as fast as you can. You ready? So make sure you put all the three into one. Ready? 
Sleep. And go. So one, two, three. Fast as we can. Two, three. Good. Keep going, guys. Well done. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Freeze there. Well done. So in the first lot of ten seconds now to move on to the last ten seconds. Okay. Can we try and do it even quicker than the time before? Ready? So nice, quick, steady. And go. So one, two, three. Keep going. One, two, three. Keep going, guys. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Brilliant, guys. Well done. So the next skill then, guys, is going to be the roll and Adriano turn. So make sure you're watching me, and I'll show you how we're going to break that down. We're going to start with our weakest foot. That's going to roll. And our strongest foot is going to go straight into an Adriano, and then stop. I'm going to go again. Strongest foot is going to roll. Weakest foot, Adriano, stop. And I'm going to go again. So once we've got that, can we then try and go a little bit quicker? So roll, Adriano, stop. Roll, Adriano, stop. Roll, Adriano, stop. Roll, Adriano, stop. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze there. Well done. So, now a little bit of a practice go. Now to go into as fast as we can for the next 10 seconds. Ready? Steady. And go. So, roll, Adriano, stop. So, nice and quick. Next 10 seconds. Good. Well done. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one and time. The freeze there. Well done. So that's the first lot of 10 seconds done. Now to move on to the last 10 seconds. Are we ready? Nice and quick. Steady. And go. So roll. Now stop. Good. So make sure both feet roll the ball. Fantastic. Keep going. Five, four, three. Last three seconds. Two, one and time. Well done. So our next skill is going to be called the free touch roulette. So let me show you how we're going to break that down. So we're going to start with our strongest foot doing the skill. So it's going to be a free touch. So it's going to be one. Two, and the outside of our foot is three. So we're going to go again with our weakest foot. So we have one, two, outside the foot, three. So we're going to keep, as soon as you've got that, can we try? Go a little bit quicker. Make sure when we're doing the foot, outside the foot takes it away, and then we're going to go again. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Hold on. Another five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze that well. So we've had a little practice go. Now can we try? Go as fast as we can for the next 10 seconds. Are you ready? So nice and quick. So and go. So one, two, three. Even quicker. One, two, three. Keep going, guys. So make sure we're pushing with the outside of our foot. Four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze that. Well done. So that's the first lot of 10 seconds. Now to move on to the last 10 seconds. Are you ready? Nice and quick. Steady. And go. So one, two, three. Keep going, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Freeze that. Well done. So that's our first lot of 10 seconds. Done. Now to move on to the last 10 seconds. As fast as we can. Ready? Can we try and do it even quicker than the time before? Steady. And go. So one, two, three. Good. And again. One, two. Keep going. Make sure to push away outside of your foot. Well done. Four, three, keep going. Two, one, and time. Well done, guys. So our next skill is going to be called the silent roulette. So let me show you the skill first, and then we'll break it down into three stages. So we'll start over here. It's going to be the silent roulette. So one, two. So now we're going to break that silent roulette down. So the first step of the silent roulette is simple. So let me show you how we're going to do it. All we're going to do is like a little bit like a Maradona, but we're not going to fully turn, we're only going to go halfway, so make sure you're watching. It's going to go one, two, three, and then all the way back. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go one, two, three, all the way back. As soon as you've got that, come in now, try, go a little bit quicker. So one, two, three, all the way back, do it again. Go one, two, three, all the way back. One, two, three, there you go. And that's how we're going to do the first step. So the second stage of our style roulette is the flick up. So all we're going to do is strongly spot to start with and then we're going to roll back. We're going to flick onto our weakest, up into the air, just like so. So have a little go of trying to flick it up. So strongest, onto your weakest, flick, just so it lands just in front of your feet. As soon as you've got that, then we're going to add number one and number two together. So you're going to go one, two, then we're going to flick, and then we're going to go all the way back. And again, so one, two, flick, all the way back. So have a little practice go with that one, two, three. All the way back. Have a little go at just that. So the third part of this skill is going to be the outside the foot and stopping the ball dead with the sole. So make sure you get the flick up and the half roulette first, then we can move on to this bit. So to start off with, we're going to flick the ball up and then we're going to outside your foot and stop the ball dead with your sole. Let me show you that one more time. So I'm going to flick the ball up, outside the foot, stop it dead, and then that's the third part of the skill. So now we've practiced them three parts, we've practiced the half roulette, the flick up and the outside and trapping the ball dead. We're going to put them all together into one to make the style of roulette. We're going to start over here and we're going to break them all down into one skill. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five and stop there, six. Okay, let me show you that one more time. We're going to break it all down again. So one, two, three, four, five, six and trap the ball there and that will be called the style of roulette. 
So for our next skill it's going to be up in the air. I'm going to teach you how to do the around the world. So if you don't know how to do it already, let me show you how it's done. So you can both do it either on the inside or you can do it on the outside bit, okay? So let me show you how we're going to break that down. So the first part of the around the world is very, very simple. All we're going to do is drop the ball and we're just going to kick it. As you can see, i put a little bit of spin on it just for my inside of the around the world. Because when we're doing around the world, we put a little bit of spin and then catch just like that. So what people normally think is when we're doing around the world, we're going to kick it, we're going to kick it upwards, around and then back. But it's a little bit harder and it's really, really hard. You might pull yourself a little bit of an injury. So when we're doing it, make sure all we're doing is inside. Can we put a little bit of spin? As soon as you've done that, can we then do it with the outside? So we're going to do the same again, kick the ball outside, put a little bit of spin on the ball, because when we're doing our round the world, outside spin, and then we're going to catch just like that. Have a little go. So now we've got the little spin on the ball, all we can do now is go one, two, and then three all the way around, and then can you try and catch it? As soon as you've done the inside spin, can you then do the outside spin? So it's going to be one, two, and then three all the way around, can you try and catch it? As soon as you've got that, can you then put it into a few kick ups? Can we go inside and then outside around? And then can you try and put them both together? Okay, have a little go.